Hey, what's going on everybody? How's it going? John here with another video. Hope you guys are doing well today. Keeping your vibrations way up high the ceiling, the sky, the roof, way up high, high on vibrations. I kind of stretched in that video too. Uh, feel pretty good this morning. I really do. feel like I have a lot of energy. Like I feel like I just woke up, got out of bed, and have all this energy. Yeah, the energy's getting getting intense out there, but I do feel it. I do feel it, and I feel pretty good today. I feel pretty good today. If not, pretty, pretty good today. Um, I still be having my ups and downs here and there, but I know I'm just going to overcome it. I trust within myself that I always get through it. We all should, because we all will overcome it. I really hope you guys enjoy my guided meditation I made yesterday. Like, just letting go of that sadness. I was explaining it's just, it's, it's okay to feel sad. You're gonna feel sad. Don't ever block a sad feeling from coming. Don't block any emotion from coming. Let it come through, feel it, and just let it go. But don't attach yourself to it. Because if you attach to that sadness... It's going to stay with inside you. For, it could be a long time. Because if you attach to it, your ego gets used to it. And you keep holding on to it. Holding on to it. When you just let it go with no attachment or resistance. You let it come. You feel it. And you let it go. You acknowledge it. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to cry. It's all right. You got to let that energy out sometimes. But yeah, when I was making that <clears throat> when I was making that meditation, I I I was kind of feeling emotional myself. I kind of felt a little teary-eyed. It was it was it was emotional. It was emotional. But those are just healing meditations I make. And on this channel, I'm going to be balancing it out by making these types of videos and making guided meditations because I would I do want to I want to help people on this channel I want to help people who are in need I want to help people raise their vibration for times we are in right now because meditation is most needed in times right now because we are in hardcore spiritual warfare and I want people to reach their best self I want people to just experience that bliss through meditation like I do when you're in the present moment. To learn the benefits of meditation. Because meditation is a very help, helpful tool. <clears throat> a beneficial tool. And a lot of people are getting into these days through... What do you call it? Yeah, yeah through meditation. Through mindfulness. That's what I was thinking of. All that stuff. Going within. Finding the answers within. Because that's what meditation does. It's practice. It's a lot of practice. It's not going to be something you get overnight. You got to practice. You got to put in the practice. Because I remember when I first started meditation. I didn't do it every day. I did it like maybe... Once every like three weeks or two weeks or something. I do it every like once in a while. And then when I had my spiritual awakening, that's when I started doing it every day. Every day. Every single day. But I wasn't used to doing it every day. It was still hard. I still had distractions. I still had that ego voice saying, ah, like when I was in meditation, I still had that ego voice saying, this is too hard. I can't do this. I can't be still. I gotta move. I gotta move. But no. And then eventually that went away. I was slowly getting it. Getting it a lot more. But <clears throat> I just want to talk today about real quick is the beauty of Mother Earth. The beauty of Mother Earth. Like, I know there's a lot of darkness on this planet. I know this planet is very dense. 
but there's going to be different ways to view it, though. Are you looking at just the negatives of it? Because this ties in with the heaven and hell states of consciousness. Are you just paying attention to the negativity of Mother Earth that's going on inside? Like, all like the meat with the media is pushing, deaths, shootings, constantly. Are you just paying attention to all the bad stuff? Or are you looking at all the good stuff? Yeah, you're going to be aware of all the bad stuff that's going on. Yeah, you're going to know about it. But are you attaching yourself to it? Or are you attaching to the good things of it? That's helping you out. Like, for instance, going out in nature. If you go out in nature on a like, nice spring, summer morning, the sky's blue, the sun's shining, or the sun's starting to rise, you're listening to all the birds, the bugs. You're looking at all the green grass. You're just experiencing, looking around. All your surroundings, looking at all the green trees blending in with the blue sky. I'd say that's the beauty of Mother Earth. Looking at videos of nature sites around the world that you've never even seen or heard of. Looking at different waterfalls. Or maybe you have traveled the world. And you, there's been, like, you've seen Niagara Falls. You've been to... Plenty of, like, beaches from, like, other countries, like Fiji Islands. I heard that's a very nice resort. Jamaica, Key West. Beaches, Turks, and Caicos. That's where I was going to go with my family, but the lockdowns happened. I was very excited to go there, by the way. That place looked beautiful beyond, like, that place was basically heaven on earth. I'm telling you, that's just stuff like that. The beauty of Mother Earth. A gift to us is nature. We all come from nature. Like if you, if, literally, the reason why we have that bliss feeling when we're in nature, it heals us. <clears throat> no, like it literally heals us emotionally. I mean, it can heal you from anything, but emotionally, once you're out in nature by yourself, being in the moment, Taking away all your stresses away, just forgetting about everything and just being one with nature. We come from nature, that's why. We come from nature. We reproduce like nature. We all are from nature, from earth. Like... The beauty of Earth, you just gotta look at it. We got nature. You have the sun, the blue sky to look at. The sounds of the birds, the bugs. If you live by a waterfall, the sounds of the waterfall, or the river, the beach, the ocean waves. You have many trails to go on. Nature sites, parks, different places if you're from out of the country somewhere. You have beautiful nature around where you're at. You have a loving family, friends. We work together through things. Or just being thankful for the smallest things, like showing the universe gratitude that you're here, breathing, healthy, because we're all here for a purpose, a divine purpose. Even if it's the smallest thing ever, maybe your purpose is to help like this, help inspire people. That could just be your purpose right there. Speak in your mind. But the beauty of Mother Earth I see is just being out in nature. Being one with Earth. With nature. With the universe, God. 
whether it's just grounding your feet in the sand, the soil, the grass. Just putting your hands in the grass, in the soil. Just experiencing the outdoors, the fresh air, drinking all that water, eating that fruit and veggies, all from Earth. That's the beauty of Mother Earth. Yes, there's a lot of chaos going on right now. But once you let all that stuff go from watching the media, when you let that stuff go and you don't pay attention to all that, your life will transform. Because if you're constantly watching the media, something something's up. That's You cannot raise your vibration if you're constantly watching that fear-mongering with their narratives, their agendas. But once you're out in nature, once you're just focusing on yourself, going within, there's a big difference right there. You feel like a big weight is lifted off of you. You feel like your energy's right. Yeah. The beauty of Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, through whether, whether it's meditation, learning more about yourself since we all come from nature because we are all the beauty of Mother Earth when we shine our light to the world throughout all this darkness, this chaos because there in times like this we have to shine our light we have to shine our light and let it glow let the light shine and brighten up Mother Earth. Because Mother Earth needs a lot of healing right now. And we are creating this new Earth, this heaven on Earth, slowly, slowly. Yeah, we still got a long way to go, but we're getting there slowly. So I just wanna make this quick video. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And in the meantime, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.